Good morning, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. It is servant soldier Amina Light with you here again. And I'm just excited about what God is doing. The Lord is saying, show my people the posture of prayer. You know, there's many positions of prayer. You can walk and pray, you can stand and pray. But the Lord has been really telling me, let them know that I want them to be on their knees, on their face, sometimes flat, sometimes laying flat out, praying, praying sincere prayers to me. So I'm here to tell you all today that we're going to pray. We're going to pray. And I'm going to be down here on the floor praying because this is such a serious time. This is a, a time that we have to be praying. You know, the Lord has birthed me in prayer. And it's, it's, it's not even about who I am or what I am. It's not. It's about the one who is in me. I'm a carrier of grace. I'm a carrier of the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm a carrier of the Holy Spirit. I'm a carrier of Jesus Christ himself. I'm a carrier of him. And it's for the glory of God. It's for the glory of God. Not of anything of my own. I can never boast. I'm saved by grace through faith. Not of any works of my own. I cannot boast. So I'm just going to go ahead and pray and, and, and call for fire and whatever the Lord wants to do. And it, it's just amazing because the Lord wants us this morning to pray for children, to pray for our children, to pray for the children we don't even know, to pray for all the children written in the Lamb's Book of Life. We are to pray right now like never before. The Lord impressed upon my heart a couple of weeks ago. The Lord said, with everything going on, you're not praying because I had took down the wall. For, for a period of time, I took down the wall and I'm not going to get into all the, all the details of that, but I will say this, the Lord shook me and got me up and said, come on, it's time to pray. So we're going to pray this morning. Father God, we just thank you for what you're doing right now in this hour and in this season. Lord God, we just magnify you. We lift you up. We give your name glory. We give your name praise. We come right now boldly to your throne and we want to say thank you before we ask for anything. We want to thank your holy name. Ha! Huh? We thank your holy name because your name is great. At your name, Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. We thank you for your name. Father God, we thank you for giving that name because in that name we have power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for waking us up this morning, clothing us and putting us in our right mind. Right now it is going on to 4 a.m. in the morning in the Central Standard Time in the United States. I don't know why the Lord is having me to call out the time, but he wants to call out the time and the date. Today is Monday, ha, September 6, 2021, and there is a fire in the house. I call for fire to surround this prayer right now in the name of Jesus. I call for the anointing of God to be on this prayer right now in the name of Jesus, the anointing that destroys every yoke. I call for the fire of the Holy Ghost to come down. Elijah went and told the prophets of Baal, he said, bring all your little whatever and put it on your altar and you call for your God to send fire and they called for their God to send fire and no fire came and they called and called. They even rent their clothes. They took knives and cut their bodies and everything trying to get their God to send fire and their God sent nothing because their God was the little G. Their God was demonic. But Elijah said, I am coming in the name of my God, my Lord, my God almighty. He even went to the extreme of getting water to soak his offering. He got water. He said, bring water. And they soaked the planks. They soaked everything till there was a puddle of water because he wanted to prove to everyone that was in eyesight that the God that he was calling on was the God that answered by fire. Father God, we're calling on you this morning because we know you're the God that answered by fire and we need your Holy Ghost fire. So we're calling fire to come down on this prayer. We're calling for fire to come down on this altar. We're calling for fire to come down on this prayer call. We're calling for fire to come down upon your people. We're calling for your fire to come down upon your servant. Give me tongues of fire. Make this prayer of fire. Birth this thing in fire. And when he got done soaking the logs, Elijah called down 
fire. He called on you, God, and he said, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I call for your fire. Fire, hallelujah, and God, you, hey, Baba, God, you sent your fire down, and your fire burned everything. It even burned the water and made it dry and turned it into steam. Ha! It's like I'm there and I can see it. Ha! Sobayosha, and right now I can feel your fire. Fire is shut up in my bones. Hallelujah. And we want to pray for our children. We want to pray for the newborn baby. We want to pray for this three-month-old baby, the six-month-old baby. We want to pray for the Shababaso, the nine-month-old baby. We want to pray for the 12-month-old baby. Father God, we want to pray for the two-year-old. We want to pray for the three-year-old, the four-year-old, the five-year-old, the six-year-old. We want to pray for the seven-year-old. We want to pray for the eight and the nine and the ten and the eleven and the twelve-year-old. Haya, pray for our teenagers. Our teenagers are exposed to so many things. There's so much out there trending to take their mind away from Christ, to take their mind away from the Word of God. There's so many things out there that make their brain not want to be respectful to their father and their mother in the home. There's so many things that make them dishonor leadership, that make them dishonor those that are in authority above them, beginning at the house so beginning in their own home and even spread into the church and spreading in the street. They don't respect nobody at the school. That's because their mind is exposed to so many things. They open up these cell phones and electronics and all these things go into their eye gates and that goes into their brain. It goes into their ear when they plug their ears with these listening device. It goes into their heart. It makes them rebellious and disobedient. The enemy has fashioned so many things, but right now we call for no weapon fashioned against us prospering concerning our children. We call for the fire of God to come now and destroy all the works that are operating in our children. Our children are filled with so many demonic spirits because of the things that are going in their eye gates, in their ear gates, in their nose gates, in their reproductive organs. Hallelujah. So they are making it okay for our children to be on birth control, to be on all these medications and all these different things and telling us that it's right. We got to continue in this fight. We got to continue in this prayer. We're calling on the 14, the 15, the 16, the 17, the 18 year olds in the name of Jesus. We're calling on the 19 and the 20, the 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29 up to 30. You really don't start understanding things until you get to 30, and even then, you still don't know nothing. I'm a witness. I didn't really understand things until 37, 38, 39, 40 is when I really started coming to an understanding of adulthood. It takes the wisdom of God to really be able to understand what being an adult is in your 20s and your 30s without the wisdom of God you are still in childhood you still have a mind of a child in your 20s and your 30s you don't come to fully grown fruition without the wisdom of God and his word I pray now that our children begin to receive the wisdom of God and his word not to just hear it and read it and see it but but to do it, I call for the fire of God to surround our children on today. The fire of God to surround our children on today. In the name of Jesus, I call for fire to cover and protect our children. Fire surround their school. Fire surround the school bus and the school bus driver. Every school bus driver, I call for a standard to be lifted that they don't be drinking and using drugs and transporting these children. I call for a standard to be lifted in the teachers, in the principals, and in the counselors. Hallelujah. That they don't be cussing at the schoolhouse 
that they don't be mismanaging their work and mismanaging and housing our children like cattle, but actually being there to be an educator and uplifter of our children. I call for fire to be upon the schoolhouse, hallelujah, the fire of God to purge and burn out all the things that are not of God that's operating in the school system, whether it may be the public schools or the private schools or the homeschooling curriculum, hallelujah, I call now for fire to surround our children when they go to and fro out and about with friends, I call for fire to be around our children even when when they're in the church. I call for fire to be around our children when they are at home. Their children in home, they're being abused and they're being misused. They're being torn to shreds in their own homes behind closed doors. I call for protection for these children in the name of Jesus. I call for heavenly angels to encamp it about these children in the name of Jesus. I call for divine protection, removing restore in the name of Jesus. I call for the standard of God to be lifted. I call for the fire of God to come down and burn all wickedness of and darkness concerning these children standing in the gap. I stand in the gap as an intercessory prayer warrior. Two titles. I intercede and I am a prayer warrior. I am a 17 star general. And I have been given the power and authority to speak into the lives of these children to speak into the lives of their parents. I call for a standard to be lifted in the parents in the name of Jesus in the raising of these children. Hallelujah. Father God, we need you to move in the lives of the parents to get right, to raise the children right, to raise them in the fear and the admonition of you. Father God, I'm calling on your name. I'm calling on you God I'm calling on you God I'm calling on you hallelujah hey yeah yeah yo right now I travail I travail in the spirit on behalf of children in the United States I travail on behalf of the children in Canada I travail on behalf of the children in South America I travail on behalf of the children in Europe Europe. I travail on behalf of the children in Asia. I travail on behalf of the children in Asia. I travail on behalf of the children in Africa. I travail on behalf of the children in all the island nations. I travail on behalf of the children in Alaska and Hawaii and Mexico. I travail on behalf of the children in Greenland. I travail on behalf of the children in Malaysia in the Middle East. <laughs> I travail on behalf of the children in the equator line in the southern regions of the earth. <laughs> I travail. It feels as if I am giving birth. Hallelujah. It's giving birth to this prayer. This prayer must go forth with fire. And I saw whoever watches this prayer, may they receive the fire of God in their life to be able to minister to their children or minister to children that they know. Hallelujah. I travail for the children that are homeless living on the streets. Hallelujah. I call for fire. God of Israel. God of Abraham. God of Isaac. God of Jacob. God of Adam and Eve. God of Daniel. God of Isaiah. God of Jeremiah. God of Elijah and Elisha. Hey, God of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, God of Malachi, God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, God of Ruth and Esther, God of Dorcas, God of Deborah, God Isha, God of Elizabeth and Mary, God of Jonah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, God of David, hey, 
God of Joseph as he went to the pit. You're coming out of the pit. Hiya. Joseph went in the pit when he was 17. Holiday Bosia. Holiday Bosia. He stayed in that pit for more than a decade. Holiday Bosia. Holiday Bosia. He was sold into slavery at 17, around that age. And he was in Potiphar's house. Oh, Korea. Shara de Boso. And because of the wife lied on him, he ended up in the pit for years. He spent a lot of his childhood in there, but as he was in there, God was dealing with him. God was taking out pride. Our children are filled with pride. Our children are filled with dishonor. God take out that pride and that dishonor out of our children. God make our children a righteous branch build our children up to be trees planted by the water build our daughters up to be arrayed in palace style oh God our daughters are dressing like any kind of way showing all of their body showing all of their skin God help us God help us our children are being snatched off the street for sex trafficking protect our children bring them home Heal our children, Lord God. They've been traumatized, but they are not victims because we are in you and in you. We are victorious and not victims. Hallelujah. I pray right now for strength for our children. I pray right now that our children turn their lives over to you, that you enter their heart. Send them somebody to minister to their needs. Send them someone that they will receive and want to change and want to meet your Lord so that their soul may be in heaven. In the name of Jesus. Ay. Father, we thank you for this prayer. We thank you for this time. We thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We seal this prayer in the firepower of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we say thank God, amen, and amen. Be encouraged on today. May the fire of God surround you and campeth you and bless you and keep you. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. Keep praying. Keep standing in the gap. Peace be unto you.